And while a battle continues between the Cohoes Fire Union and the city, the mayor saying it's been going on for decades. Union president fighting to keep one of the city's three stations open 24-7. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno showing us what both sides have to say and the potential for a resolution. The city of Cohoes has three firehouses. The Central Station, Island Station, and Hill Station. This past Friday, staff was short, so the Hill Firehouse was closed. Later that evening, there was a critical EMS call in the Hill Territory, and it took the firefighters that came from the Central Station and the Island Station seven minutes and longer to arrive at that patient. Rob Wattsman, president of the Cohoes Firefighters Union, said they asked for more staffing, but the city paid overtime for one more to come in. He doesn't think that's enough. If you ask Fire Chief Joseph Fodd, the response to the EMS call in question was below the national average and a good response time. He says right now the agreement is that if staffing dwindles down to four, they'll bring in a fifth. We're coming to negotiations, so if the union wants to come up with some creative ideas that we can consider, we'll come up with some ideas and maybe we can meet in the middle someplace. Not, not guaranteed there's going to be six guys every day, but, you know, again, eight people scheduled to work and only four show up. We have contractual rights. We have time off like most average people do. They don't mind when we work, but when our guys get the deserved time off and they take the time off and it closes the station, they blame us. Mayor Bill Keeler said the city has put a heavy focus on EMT training for police, but paying 48 hours of overtime for a sixth firefighter when only four show up could bankrupt the city. Cohoes property taxpayers, uh, of the amount that they pay, 40% right now is consumed by the fire department. So, you know, public safety is a, a top priority but the pie is only so big. Keeler and the chief say they are only short-staffed by one firefighter right now and actively in the process of hiring. Reporting in Cohoes, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.